Cats left for his birthday today. Shh! It's a surprise! <laughs> surprise! <laughs> what? Oh, hello! Lifter, it's your birthday! Happy birthday, Lifter! You have to make a wish, Lifter, and then blow out the candle. Are you sure, dearie? Have you ever seen me blow anything out? I can rustle up quite a breeze. It's not as if you're going to blow us away, is it? For that, you'd need super amazing bagpipe-playing lungs like mine. <laughs> Go on, make a wish. Okay, then. Brace yourselves. Wish. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> 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 oh, that was fantastic! Wind, wind! <laughs> that was like wind! Lifter, you have the strongest breath ever! <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you wish for, Lifter? I hope it wasn't a slice of cake! <sighs> oh, ho! Oh. What I love more than anything is interior decorating! Decorating? Beautiful designs! And where am I? In this grey room. My wish is to be able to decorate my little room. Hmm. <gasps> Wallpaper. I knew it would come in handy sometime. Oh, oh how exciting! Mm. <laughs> no, don't look. This is going to be a surprise. Off you go. Leave me to my decorating. Oh. Why don't we go somewhere? We'll come back later and see Lifter's room. Wind, wind! That's a great idea, Sol. We could all go somewhere windy. <gasps> Where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? There's Neptune. That's windy. Going to Neptune would give Lifter time to decorate her room in peace. Let's find out about Neptune. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Neptune, so pay attention. This is the solar system, and these are the planets. This one at the end is called Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. That makes Neptune terribly cold, one of the ice giant planets. So remember, Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. Could you please help me remember that? <laughs> Neptune is a big blue planet farthest from the sun and it's very cold. Thanks. Cosmo out. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own, Lifter? No, oh, of course, Petal. Couldn't be happier. Wait until you see what I do with the place. Off you go. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Begin launch sequence. Past all the other planets towards the solar system's end The ice giant Neptune Our cold and windy friend So beautifully blue Oh, what a lovely view But farthest from the sun Makes it cold for me Neptune, Gil! An update for your Neptune location file is available. Downloading update now. Download failed. Retrying. Please wait. We don't have to wait for Gil. Will you help me find Neptune? Great! These are all the planets. The sun is here. 
If we could remember whether Neptune is close to the sun or far away from the sun, then we'd know which way to go. Is Neptune close to the sun or far away from the sun? Far away! This one is Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. It's out that way, Dad. Update installed. Now, to get to Neptune. We know. Farthest from the sun. Well, it would have sounded better coming from a supercomputer. <laughs> <laughs> Neptune is beautiful. There we go. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We've landed in a windy part of Neptune. And brr, it's so cold. Brr, cold. I'd really rather stay behind, you know. The trip out will do you good, Gil. <laughs> do you feel it, Saul? The wind is even stronger than Lifter's breath. Wind! <laughs> what we need is a kite, and it just so happens... A kite! Watch this, everyone! <laughs> no, don't watch that. That wasn't it. <laughs> don't worry, Dad. Look. <gasps> Stabilising shoes. This indicates that conditions are very windy. Can you be more specific, Gil? Um, yes. Breezy, blustery, one might say. Hmm. Westerly wind approaching 2,000 kilometers per hour. Is that a lot? Yes, that makes Neptune the windiest planet in the solar system. The windiest planet in the solar system? Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system. And that's too windy for us. We better head back to the ship. <laughs> Dad! Don't worry. I did seven extra push-ups this morning. Arms of steel. I'll never let go. <gasps> <gasps> Dad, let go! But if I let go, my kite will blow away. It's my favourite kite. It's my only kite. Dad, let go before it takes you any higher. Warning. Prepare for massive gust of wind in three, two, one. <laughs> I kite. Whoa. Oh, dear. Ah. <gasps> Those gassy hills will be nice and soft. That's right. We can just let go over one of those hills. It's too high. I don't think I can do it. They'll be perfect for a soft landing. You can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it. That's right. Let's jump onto the soft hills. Help me work out when to let go. When we're right above the hill, shout now. Now? Not yet. When we're right above it. Now? Almost. Now! Let go, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Slides. <laughs> We're back where we started. My kite. Oh. You'll get a 
another kite someday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's get inside. We'll go and find out how Lifter is getting on with her decorating. Yay! Begin launch sequence. It cold for me and you. And we learned something amazing today. Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system. Past all the other planets, towards the solar system's end. The ice giant Neptune, our cold and windy friend. It is rather lovely, isn't it, sweetie? It's been a wonderful birthday. Just wait until you see the rest of it. <gasps> the rest of what? Oh, Lifter. Oh. <gasps> the moon base is beautiful. The whole moon base, every inch. Well done, Lifter. Mission complete. All I have left is this one square of flowery wallpaper. Seems such a shame to let it go to waste. Hmm. A kite! <laughs> go, Dad! Yay! Win, win! <laughs> <laughs> an experiment measuring the exothermal properties of hydrogen in sub-zero temperatures. Mum is playing with cold things. It's all very scientific. <sighs> Stay back, Cosmo. The slightest mistake could ruin the whole experiment. We thought you hard workers could do with a drink. I made water. Well, poured water. Well, salted. <laughs> My experiment! Months of work. Gone. Lovely drinks. Gone. Mummy sad. It's okay. It was only water. But it's frozen all over my experiment. It looks like an ice rink now. An ice rink? For ice skating. I used to love ice skating. Like a ballerina dancing on ice. Well, I'm too busy for ice skating these days. Gil, how long would it take to reset experiment conditions? Around seven months, four days, 11 hours, 22 minutes, and 43 seconds. I'm sure I can find a quicker way. Your mum is the best ice skater I've ever seen. Even better than me, and I'm pretty fantastic. I have very strong ankles. I wish I could go ice skating. I got it! To finish my experiment sooner, I just need to take it somewhere incredibly cold. One of the coldest planets. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Mercury, Venus, Earth or Mars? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? We're all going to Neptune, one of the ice planets. I'll prepare my equipment. An ice planet? Cosmo, there must be loads of places to ice skate there. Do you think so? Oh, there must be. Let's find out about Neptune. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Neptune. So pay attention. This is the solar system. 
And these are the planets. This one at the end is called Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. That makes Neptune terribly cold. One of the ice giant planets. So remember, Neptune is a big blue planet. Farthest from the sun and it's very cold. Could you please help me remember that? Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. Thanks. Cosmo out. Right. Everything's ready. And are you ready for ice skating? Begin launch sequence. <laughs> It cold for me and you. Past all the other planets, towards the solar system's end. The ice giant, giant Neptune, our cold and windy friend. <laughs> Neptune. <laughs> That's not Neptune. That's Jupiter. Neptune is very different. Will you help me show Neptune to Sol? Great! Let's draw Neptune. Neptune is round. But what colour is planet Neptune? Yellow, red or blue? Which crayon would I need? Blue! Neptune is a blue planet. That's right. This is what Neptune looks like, Sol. Neptune is a blue planet. Blue planet. Yes, like that planet. Oh, that is Neptune. Neptune is a blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. So everyone needs to wrap up warm. Imagine an ice rink, disco lights. Well, they might not have disco lights, but as long as it's smooth and solid, we'll be able to skate. Who is flying the ship? The ship? Oh, the ship! Oh. Entering Neptune's atmosphere now, all under control. <laughs> Neptune is beautiful! So blue! So windy and swirly! Oh, I can't wait to go ice skating! Swish! 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 Oh! No swish! <gasps> That's not smooth and solid! Be careful, everyone! The surface of Neptune isn't solid! Ugh. Gil, please extend the platform! Extending now. Thank you. For saying please, I mean. It's only good manners, but it's still nice. Not solid. It's not like an ice rink at all. It's not even like the hard ground at home. Neptune's surface isn't solid. It's all smushy and mushy. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Neptune's surface isn't solid. Amazing! but not very good for skating. Pretty sad. Swish, swish. If only there was some way of ice skating out here. Well, no point in complaining, unless there's a Neptune complaints department, which I don't think there is. To cheer us up, I brought water for everyone. Well. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't worry, I'm fantastic at not slipping on ice! Oh. Ouch! <gasps> whoa! Ow. Ouch! Just need to bring this very delicate equipment down to Mum. Watch out, Gil! It's very... <laughs> Slippy. Slippy like an ice rink. The water has frozen and turned to ice. 
Dad, we can go skating on the ice. Oh, we couldn't skate on a patch of ice as small as this, Cosmo. For a big ice rink, we'd need lots of water. Gil, how much water have we got? Approximately 5.7968. Gil, is it lots? Yes. Beginning experiment. What now? Now we wait. Oh, if I'd known we'd be waiting, I'd have brought a book. Well, we can enjoy the peace and quiet. Surprise! My experiment! Not again! I wasn't going to ruin it twice, was I? An ice rink? Ice skating! Whoa! 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 Take my hand. I might fall. You might, but you'll get better. I don't know, Mum. I don't think I can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it! That's right! <laughs> Would you like to skate, Sol? Take my hand. Danger. The experiment was a success, Gil. You did very well. I did? Really? I mean, oh, yeah, of course. I am a supercomputer, you know. Begin launch sequence! It cold for me and you. And we learned something amazing today. Neptune doesn't have a solid surface. It's all mushy. Past all the other planets with the solar system's end. The ice giant Neptune, our cold and windy friend. Too. Thank you, Dad. Mission complete! Now, would anyone like a drink before bed? Drinks? I'll get them. <laughs> Whiz! The home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz! That's how easy it is.